guys, we are here. We're back. Maybe if you guys have seen this before, this is the human performance building. We're actually in a classroom setting here. We're gonna be doing our DEXA scan. Now, the cool thing I just found out is here at Utah Tech, if you live in St. George or you're passing through, you can actually come and get a ton of different tests done. VO2 max, you can get your resting metabolic rate, your DEXA scan, body fat, all of these good things that a lot of people in this community, big into Ironmans, into triathlons and everything like that, this can be a hub if you guys want, we're gonna include the link in this video. Um, anyone can just come in, pay to use these services and really nail down what your goals are, your starting position, kind of like what I'm doing right now. I wanna figure out what I'm at. So then at the end, I am progressing towards my goal of gaining weight, but not adding on a ton of body fat. Let's jump into this. First, before we jump into the decks, let's see how tall I am. There's no cheating this. Six foot two even, not not quite, just under six foot two. And I have shoes on. I'm really six one. But here I'm six six one and a half essentially. So we'll say six one for the testing. This morning, weighed in 208 pounds. So I'm up eight pounds. And that's pretty good. Like upping eight pounds and we're what on week four? This will really tell me exactly where I'm at with my muscle mass and everything else, how much lean body fat I have. It takes into consideration, as you can see scans your body so takes into consideration bone and everything else and then it'll give me a reading of how much body fat i have and how much muscle mass i have and then we'll retest at the end of 12 weeks and hopefully we've improved on everything is it live do we get live reports on it 10.7 10.7 10.7 is my body fat all right yeah so am I, do I have one side that's a little bit more muscular than the other? So we can take a look. The total right, total left, oh, that's pretty good. Total mass. So my left side I have, which is actually interesting because I do think my right side, I've had some a shoulder problem, my lower back problem, it's all on the right hand side. So, so I have 190 pounds of fat free mass. That includes yes. bone, everything but fat. So I have right now about 22 pounds of, of fat overall on my body, which makes sense. My bone mineral density, I've actually never looked at that. So no osteoporosis, that's no. good. But it kind of makes Can we look at what I was last time? Oh, yeah, so this is me this this time. Yeah, this was today. Okay. Yeah, you can even follow the age. So your total yeah. mass. So my lean mass right now is the lowest it's actually ever been. So. So you have a trend since 2020. Yeah. You were at 190 pounds. So I've lost nine pounds of muscle since 2020. Yes. Nine pounds of muscle since 2020. So we want to gain that back. We want that nine pounds back. So that's going to be our goal um, when we come in. Maybe not. Yeah, I guess if my goal has been 12 pounds. Let's say, you know, I started this journey at 200 pounds. I'm now 211-ish pounds. So let's just say I've put on three pounds of muscle so far. If I can continue my goal of putting on nine pounds of muscle, that, that's, that's where we want to go. So I guess, you know, that will be hard to do, but that's our long-term goal. With all the golfing I've been doing, yeah. I've definitely lost muscle. And oh. in since in the last four years, essentially nine pounds of muscle. So. Yeah. The goal right now is to gain that nine pounds, nine pounds back and stay relatively lean. So to stay under 12%, hopefully. So what was the best I ever was for the leanest? With us, we were like, I think you were down at 8% or something, something like that, right? 8.5 and I was. Oh no, 8.1, sorry. That's the, the lowest. But when I was at 8.5, I was almost 20 pounds heavier than I was at 8.1. Because if you looked at the, I think it was 217 versus 206 when we looked at the weight. So that's when obviously I had the most lean body mass. I think I was 190 pounds. So I was 10 pounds heavier with almost the same body fat percentage. So crazy. Yeah, that's, that's what golf will do to you. <laughs> It would be a lot harder for someone who had never had that much muscle sure. to gain muscle, yeah. but call it's it muscle true. memory, yeah. call it some Baseline, of, right? yeah, I've had, I've had that much muscle before. And in fact, probably when I was at Utah Tech, I was 240 pounds playing linebacker. Fun what the body can do, that's for sure. All right. That's awesome that you can keep track of all that. I know, I actually, I love, I love being able to come back and see that. So the goal is again, we got eight weeks now. Yeah, we got like eight pounds of muscle to put on. I'm probably somewhere in the vicinity of 10 total pounds to gain to get me to that goal of 220. Again, 12 of that. So my goal, I started at 200, my goal is 220. So that's 20 pounds. Of that 20 pounds, I want 12 of that to be muscle. We're gonna see if we can do it. I definitely feel positive leaving this. Kind of sad knowing that four years ago I had nine pounds of muscle that I don't have right now. But you can't really start on your journey of improvement unless you know where you're at and know where you've been. So we got that, let's go train. All right, just got back from the college where we got body fat done. So I was 10.7% body fat 
at 211 pounds, maybe 211 point something. This morning when I woke up though, I was 208.3. Your body's gonna fluctuate, water, food, all that good stuff. So I'm going off my morning weight because when I started this, I was 200 pounds even. So I've gained eight pounds in four weeks. It's an average of two pounds per week. My goal is to get to 220 pounds, 12 pounds of that 20 being muscle, eight pounds of that being fat. We're gonna do a little little leg day today, but first we're just gonna do a little shirt off body check-in. I'm feeling more full with the amount of food I've been having. I had to uh, had to trim my legs and my arms and my chest because I was like, I'm getting bigger, I'm adding some size, I'm adding some fat. I'm gonna have to try to see some definition. So I'm doing the 60 minute leg day on the school program. We're gonna start off with pit shark. It should be front squat, but I'm going pit shark because the back has been bugging. So in my warm up today, I'm gonna make sure that I'm hitting a really appropriate warm up for my lower back, which is gonna mean opening my hips, making sure my glutes are activated, and then dynamically warming up. Also, I'm gonna start incorporating some more cardio this week. It's not gonna mean more golf. That's probably what a lot of you are thinking, but I'm gonna incorporate some sprinting and maybe even some swimming. So that's the goal for this week. We're gonna jump into it. Gained eight pounds. All right, on the pit shark squat. So, doing these instead of my front squats today. Now, the reason for this is over the years, football, working out with Half Thor Bjornsson, strongest man in the world, back's gotten a little bit tender. So, I've noticed that if I go long periods of time where I don't work mobility as I should and I'm gaining size. I can have some bad lower back problems that lead actually to like hip problems. And it actually all starts more so with underactive glutes. But with this, we're taking the load off of the spine and even off of this whole area and we're keeping it on the leg. So it's gonna operate a little bit more like a front squat than a back squat. The way I set up into it, because of where this cable's pulling from, it's gonna be right in between your toes. Again, if we're doing a back squat or a front squat, all of a sudden that changes up a lot of where we put the stress on our lower body here. If you keep your upper body like we would in a front squat position, those knees are gonna wanna go forward. So again, it's gonna be a little more quad focused. If I start doing this, now all of a sudden my upper body is coming forward. We're getting a lot more glute involved in there, but that's not what we're working on today. Because it's a front squat day, we're standing up nice and tall. That knee is gonna drive over the toe and back up. We got 90 seconds rest. And I'm actually in between here, I'm gonna work on TKEs, even though it wasn't on the program today. I'm gonna get a little bit more work right around stabilizing. So it's gonna be almost like a leg extension, but with that TKE on the band. Let's go. This is my resistance. I see the enemies from a distance. Listen, I know it's my name that they mention. They wanna know my intention. Well, I moved through pressure and laugh at pain. I'm seeing it clear, we're not the same, yeah. Leaving the mark, remember the name. I'm bringing it back, the city to claim. Uh, it's not easy what we achieve. Long road to the top and I'm in the lead. When I tell my story, they believe. What motivates me is the energy. Yeah, heavy is the head on the throne. Climb to the top and I did it on my own. I will not stop, this is my home. Even if I do it all alone, they better know. I think it's about time for a new order. I'm ready for the danger, I'm built for it. I walk through the dark and I push forward. This is my time and I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. This is my time and I'm coming for you. 
Everything is coming to this moment. Don't pay attention to the fear, you own it. Back to the wall, face your opponent. Ready for the war, winning is a bonus. Yeah, I did it all for the glory. It's my crown, they left it there for me. We can let the smoke settle in the morning. So consider this a warning, yeah. Make sure they hold the line steady. No matter what happens, we're ready, yeah. Even when the pressure gets heavy, I cannot stop, the people won't let me. I think it's about time for a new order. I'm ready for the danger, I'm built for it. I walk through the dark and I push forward. This is my time and I'm coming for you. Didn't take anything on that set to failure today. Stayed one to two reps shy of failure. Again, started my fourth week on this program. I'm just now starting to feel like these last final sets, I had the muscular endurance. Before, I was failing way too early. I'd get through the first set, and then I wouldn't get through the next two quite the same. Muscular endurance is starting to come back. I gotta do my mobility now. Can't be having back problems, but I give that leg day a B plus. A plus for effort. Still getting there. We're coming. We're coming.